Hello, hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be walking through GPT 4.0 top use cases. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Please like and subscribe to our channel. So it's been a, about a week, a little over a week since uh, OpenAI released GPT 4.0, their newest large language model, uh, their LLM, and it's pretty exciting. I highly recommend going to the OpenAI website and checking out some of the main releases. But this video, they talk about the ability to do multimodal processing for text, images, and video. Um, so you can interrupt it. There's a lot that you can do. Uh, in this video here, uh, we have two of the GPT-40 models talking back and forth with each other. There's, um, yeah, so many different things. They even sing with each other. Uh, this one, it's helping this uh, guy here do an interview. There's a lot of, yeah, really cool, impressive things. Uh, and also they give like different examples of what this can do. Uh, even like the 3D object synthesis. Uh, you can give it this input here and it will output uh, a 3D model. And compared to like different models, GPT-40 is actually really high performing. Uh, you can see in some categories, uh, Claude Opus, uh, Claude 3 Opus is a little bit outperforming. Uh, but for the majority of use cases or areas here in terms of text, you've got uh, GPT-40 um, coming out on top. You can also look at the different comparisons between the audio side of things, vid uh, the video, a vision. Uh, understanding evaluations as well. So there's quite a bit here again with GPT 4.0. I've been testing it out recently and have been really impressed. So far, the desktop app though that they have released is not available. So um, that is still yet to come about, but I'm really excited to get access to that. So let's go ahead and jump into the uh, chat GPT interface here and choose the chat GPT 4.0. Now I have the plus plan. So uh, what that means is I'm paying the $20 a month to be able to use that, but I have a lot um, higher rate limits compared to uh, the free plan where you can use chat GPT 4.0, uh, but uh, 4.0, but you are not able to have a, a lot of like higher um, rate limits. So you could cap that out pretty quickly. What are the top use cases for? Now there's a number of use cases that I've already been testing this out with, but yeah, here are some of the top use cases according to OpenAI. Um, helping to do customer support, um, customer questions, support and help resolve issues, helping to create content. This is definitely a big one uh, that I do. If you've checked out any other videos on my channel, I talk a lot about using uh, ChatGPT and other large language models for content generation, social media marketing, email marketing, sales, helping to write code, We've got education and training, data analysis and insights, language translation, healthcare, so medical diagnosis. Um, yeah, that's pretty interesting that it includes that in here. Uh, supporting mental health through chatbots. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Um, there are a lot of, as people know, um, medical regulations like HIPAA that need to be in place. But one of our clients, for example, that we're working with at our Catalyst company where we do AI software development, we're building out a, um, a counselor slash coach. Uh, it's an AI tool that helps chat with people, uh, helping them overcome mental health challenges, depression, things like that. So that is a very important use case here where you can use um, AI there legal and compliance um, law firms and just the law industry in general can, has a huge opportunity to use um, the, the chat GPT 4.0 in different use cases, especially if you have more of a custom backend and can have like memory and secure database of conversations. There's a lot here on yeah, just legal help that AI tools can provide helping to create uh, scripts, videos, images, artwork. Yeah, that's uh, definitely really cool there. And uh, yeah, we'll probably try that here in a few minutes. And then personal assistance, helping to manage schedules, reminders, personal tasks, recommendations for activities, travel, and purchases. I actually do use the um, uh, OpenAI app on my phone. 
um, for like my wife and my kids. We like to go on walks or go on trails around here. So sometimes I'll ask it like, hey, here's what we're thinking of doing for like a trail. What do you recommend in our local area? And it will uh, give us that information. Marketing and sales. Again, this is a big area I use. Um, I've been using GPT-4.0 now for marketing campaigns, helping to analyze and condense like notes from meetings with my team members and everything there. Uh, gaming, it can help create like a dialogue or stories for video games. I have been testing it out there. One of the uh, projects that we um, I'm working on now, um, we uh, do a lot of NFT artwork and we do a lot of generative um, artwork, uh, generative AI artwork here. So like this artwork here of one of our characters and some of the storylines, yeah, we use uh, generative AI and G uh, GPT-4.0 for some of that. Some of that we use mid-journey, but yeah, definitely a use case there. Uh, research and development. So GPT-4.0 can definitely help if you're in the research side of things. Um, I have been uh, noticing where I'll do research or use GPT-4.0 uh, to do research and then summarize and condense it and just upload these different files or upload PDFs of different um, you know, published peer-reviewed articles and it will summarize and condense that. So really powerful there. Uh, also, some of the other things I like to use it for is like data from surveys or assessments. Uh, you can output that data and then import it here to GPT-40 and get an assessment of that data. So pretty powerful uh, use case on the research side of things. Financial services, financial advice, portfolio management. I actually use ChatGPT a lot. I have a custom GPT just for like personal wealth management that I ask it for my own kind of investments and money management that works really well, but this is definitely another use case. You can ask it to create like a savings plan or an investment plan, you know, if you have a goal to kind of try to get like saving for retirement or, or something like that. Um, human resources, um, you know, in terms of screening resumes, um, you know, giving summaries on candidates, uh, especially if you're on the interview uh, interviewee side and like applying to jobs, you can use GPT-40 to help you like improve your resume or, you know, do those kinds of things. So there are a lot of use cases here. So I wanted to maybe create um, a simple one here on like how I use this for a few of these use cases, but like I do a lot of social media posts. So um, can you create a social media quotes from Zig Ziglar in the style Jim Edwards copywriting style? So this is what I like to do a lot of times. I'm a huge fan of Zig Ziglar. Uh, how I do business actually is, uh, so you think um, you can have everything in life you want if you just help enough other people get what they want. That's how I, uh, a quote that I live by, but I also really am a big fan of Jim Edwards' copywriting style. So when I do like social posts or copywriting, uh, I usually like to use Jim Edwards. So. Uh, here's an example of the output for like a social media post. Ready to turn your dreams into reality? It's time to get motivated. Sig Ziglar, the legendary motivator, once said, you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. Here's the deal. Success doesn't come to those who wait. It comes to those who get up and take action. Now, it's a great first start, um, but when I do a lot of AI coaching or consulting for people and also companies, um, the more you can feed it of your, cop your copy or your, your style or your tone of voice, the more that the AI can customize its response to you. So I actually have a custom GPT I use for all of my copywriting that's trained on my style. Uh, it's ha it has hundreds of scripts of, from videos and posts that I've done, and it pulls from that my tone and style of how I do these posts. So just to kind of give you an example of how I do that. Now, uh, the other one here is I'll do like code. Um, so let's do something with like uh, make a flappy bird clone in Python, creating the code uh, using Pygame, which is the Pygame library, 
in Python, and it says you will need to provide bird and pipe images in the directory as the script. This is a way to help generate code. Now, I do a lot of software development as well, um, and I have been noticing GPT-4.0 has been especially good at like helping me to solve bugs. So there's a number of software projects with clients that I'm working on where I will actually upload the code or from our private GitHub repos, I will put the code in here and, and ask it to help me solve errors uh, when I'm getting some bugs in the um, when running the code. So just to give you an example, this is like really impressive compared to GPT-4 Turbo, even with some of the other recent updates and especially with GPT-3.5 in the past. Now let's create like an image that we can use. So uh, let's make an image, make an image generated. So here we have the initial image generation. Now when you use GPT-4.0 or any of the ChatGPT large language models in ChatGPT, if you click on the image here, you can actually bring up like the editor and you click on this tool select and then you can actually like highlight the changes um, that you want to make. So I can say, I can highlight this, I can highlight this, and I can say, fix the spelling and make it readable in English. Now what it's gonna do is update the specific sections in the image that it just generated with that. With the spelling, you gotta be pretty specific because uh, as you'll probably see here, um, you have to almost uh, exactly tell the uh, chat, like GPT-4.0, exactly the text that you want to update that with. So it can be a little finicky at times. And here you have the update, uh, get motivated. Looks like it's trying to add in the Zig Ziglar quote. So obviously there's other changes that we can make here. Remove this quote and run this again. And there you have a good example that we can go ahead and take. So when this is ready, you can just come up here and click save and that will save that over to your computer to be able to be used wherever you wanna post it. Um, and then finally, let's do one of these other use cases here. Let's do create email newsletter that you made. Ready to turn your dreams into reality, get motivated. Are you ready to take the next steps toward achieving your dreams? It's time to get motivated. We believe that success starts with the mindset. So obviously my company at Catalyst Brand Group, we believe that success starts with the right mindset. That's why we're bringing you a burst of inspiration to kickstart your journey, tips to stay motivated. So yeah, very good here. Uh, just probably a few tweaks that I would make based on my own uh, email newsletter template, but I also did not upload or show an image of how I typically do my email newsletter. And in this case, I would definitely recommend that uh, if you wanna use GPT-4.0 for helping to do email newsletter content. So there you go. Here was a quick uh, intro to GPT-4.0. Highly recommend checking out the blog post and testing this out for yourself. If you want me to do a deeper dive on to GPT-4.0 in specific use cases, I've got a few other videos coming here soon on GPT-4.0 for content marketing, sales. So if you're interested, please go ahead and comment down below. I want more GPT-4.0 videos and I will be sure to let you know when those are coming here soon. Uh, and if you are not subscribed, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss the other upcoming videos I'm going to be doing here uh, coming soon. And if you are exploring AI for your business or you know whatever kind of work you're doing and you want to have a call with me, I would be glad to do a call to help you integrate AI into your business or your work that you're doing. I work with companies all over the world right now on helping them uh, integrate AI into their different workflows or create new AI software solutions. So thank you so much for tuning in. Remember to keep moving forward and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks guys.